craziest res oppositional response to putting in bike lanes in Athens, Georgia has been it'll wreck the historic character of our neighborhood. If that bike lane gets installed, the terrorists will win. It was during the throes of the bike backlash and Marshall Kramer was saying that if a bike lane went in near the UN, that somehow that's going to open the door to more terrorism. When they're opposing a bike lane, they will go through, you know, what we would call the seven stages of bike lane denial, and they'll put up all the sort of usual fights that you'll see in neighborhood after neighborhood. And in this instance in Baltimore City, they were finally able to find like the one card that they could pull that would hold everything up, and that was emergency and fire access. We did a safe routes to school in Texas. And one of the top officials in TechStock said, if it's so dangerous out there, why don't we just put our kids in the car and drive them to school? And I thought to myself, you know, I'm not sure she's got it yet. Some of the funny ones that I've heard are in the same breadth, breadth that uh, the property value will rise for their home, and so they'll have to pay more taxes, and that their property value will simultaneously decrease, and they won't be able to sell their house. And I'm like, well, you kind of have to pick one, don't you? We were replacing curbside parking with a protected bike lane, and so residents in that area were so nervous that they couldn't park in front of their house anymore, even though they had a driveway. One after another, the opposition speakers, who were just people who lived in the community, got up and very angrily were saying that the completion of this trail, whether it was paved or unpaved, would cause all the species of birds in Van Cortland Park to go extinct. There have actually been a few instances, very, very few, but rare instances where other cyclists have said, well, I'm fine with the existing infrastructure, so why do we need protected bike lanes or things of that nature? So um, that, and that's, that's been very, very odd to see people who don't understand that just because you're comfortable with it, there are other people who are interested but concerned, but need that extra layer of protection to know that it's safe enough to ride. Once in Chicago, I had a black alderman tell me, I don't want to put in bike lanes because black people don't bike. And as he said that, we both looked to our left and a black woman rode by on a bicycle. And I said, are you sure about that? <laughs> and he laughed, he actually laughed. Another point about uh, NIMBY opposition to bike lane projects was that the bike lane would actually draw bike riders in front of their home and they would have to hear them talking to each other as if insufferably. We don't have enough money. It's just ridiculous to me, especially considering how much millions of dollars go into vehicle traffic infrastructure comparative and relative to how much it actually costs to put a bike lane in. This week somebody was, uh, one of the DDOT planners in DC was saying that people are opposed to bike lanes because the pylons and flexi posts are ugly. As we've all heard is like totally contradictory is that no one will use that bike lane and tons of bicyclists will use it and they'll mow down pedestrians. Which is it? Are there going to be more people using the bike lane or nobody using the bike lane? So one of the most common excuses for not having a bike lane is I don't see people riding bikes. So why am I going to go build something if I don't see people using it already? Uh, the crazy catch to that is most normal people aren't riding bikes because they're like, I don't want to take my life into my own hands. People say, I've almost been hit by a bike, so they're extremely dangerous. And I'm like, great, I've actually been hit by a car, so come back to me when, you know, when you've actually been hit, okay, thank you. They really enjoy their cars. They really think that the street belongs to them, and they just don't want to share the road. And I don't know, people just need to get on a bike and ride and see that the road can be for everyone. In D.C., I had a council member say to me, do I look like I ride a bike? And I said, oh, is the bike lane only for you? And he goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. There's a golf course on one side and the Sawmill Parkway, which is basically an expressway, on the other side for sections of this, this trail. Um, so that's what we were dealing with. All the species of birds in Van Cortland are going to go extinct due to a bike path.